Well, Mr. Harold was, um, he was the founder of 4-H in North Carolina. And he used to say that in 4-H, we were growing blue ribbon boys and girls. The project really didn't matter. It was the child and how they were developing and how we could, could um, reward them for all of their efforts. And that's sort of where the awards program began. Awards are important to the 4-H program because they simply make the program fun. It is a great way to uh, energize the young people. It's a very good way to do additional education. It just simply makes the 4-H program a lot of fun and ultimately it can really provide long-range benefits for the participants. Oh, it was fun to watch uh, my 4-Hers. We had a printed 4-H awards handbook and they would come to the office and thumb through the awards handbook and say, oh, I'm interested in this subject matter area, whatever it was, forestry or, or cattle or whatever. And then they would look at what the award was. Oh, well, I don't like that award. I like this award better. So I'm gonna try this project. And that's how they chose what they were gonna do for any given year. Well, the awards program, I'll tell you how it affected me. I saw young people receiving awards and I thought, I know them, I can do the same thing that they're doing. So it motivated me to get involved. The rewards can be things like um, financial rewards, college scholarships, uh, the young people that sell their cattle, they're putting their, that money into a college fund in a lot of cases. Other times it's exposure to people that help you make better life decisions, networking, job opportunities for later on. It also certainly is resume building when you go to try to do things later in life. You get a lot of skills that you'll use in the rest of your life for participating in the awards program. It's that, that little shot that you give to the kids to do their very best. Um, we have not kept up with incentives that are important to, to children. And when I was president of the 4-H Development Fund board, Shannon came with a presentation about the need to shore up the awards program. And I was really horrified to see that the awards were, some of them were still as small as they were when I retired many years ago. I would encourage each and every one of you to participate in the Pin It Forward program. It's my personal mission to make sure that today's North Carolina 4-Hers have the same opportunities that I had. And it's only with donor participation will we have opportunities for an ever needy community of youth to make our state a better state.